five, six, seven, eight. Everybody better say my name. Hey, One more time, say Miss Holmes again. Hey, yeah. I never knew that I, by Sherelle Holmes. Acknowledgements. A very special thank you to my family, who has always been my primary source of motivation. Hello, scholars, and welcome to the very first episode of Read Along with Ms. Holmes. I am Ms. Holmes, and today, reading along with me is a very special guest, Kylie. Everyone say hi, Kylie. Today, we will be reading your soon-to-be favorite book, I Never Knew That I, by who? By you. By me. You're sure? Yes. That's right, by me, Sherelle Holmes. Wow. Kylie. Can you believe that? Yes. If you have a copy of the book, I want you to go get it right now. And please read along with us. If you don't, no worries. When we're done, you can always order a copy at Amazon.com. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment at the end of this video. Okay, I'm ready. Kylie, are you ready? Yes. Scholars, are you ready? Here, Here we go. I never knew that I was such a special child until my mother said I was, and it made me smile. I never knew that I was such a smart kid until my teacher wrote good job on everything I did. I never knew that I had such an amazing talent until my coach said, you're the best, and I accepted the challenge. I never knew that I was such a great friend until I got a friendly note from my classmate saying that I am. I never knew that I was such a pleasant surprise until I had lunch with my uncle and he baked me apple pie. I never knew that I was such a wonderful gift until my dad said taking me to dinner was his birthday wish. I never knew that I was such a loved big sister until my little brother drew a heart with my picture in the middle. I never knew that I was such a nice neighbor until my friends next door thanked me for doing a favor. I never knew that I was such a funny niece until I made my aunt laugh and she fell out her seat. I never knew that I was such a cool person until I made my cousin feel better when her feelings were hurting. I never knew that I was such an important girl until my grandmom said, you have the power to change the world. This book is proof that you should never say never. Therefore, starting with the title page, take the words and read out the story and read it again. I knew that I was a special child. My mother said I was, and it made me smile. I knew that I was a smart kid. My teacher wrote a good job on everything I did. I knew that I had an amazing talent. My coach said, you're the best, and I accepted the challenge. I knew that I was a great friend. I got a friendly note from my classmates saying that I am. I knew that I was a pleasant surprise. I had lunch with my uncle and he baked me apple pie. I knew that I was a wonderful gift. My dad said taking me to dinner was his birthday wish. I knew that I was a loved big sister. My little brother drew a heart with my picture in the middle. I knew that I was a nice neighbor. My friends next door thanked me for doing a favor. I knew that I was a funny niece. I made my aunt laugh and she fell out her seat. I knew that I was a cool person. I made my cousin feel better when her feelings were hurting. I knew that I was an important girl. My grandma said, you have the power to change the world. Can you tell me something nice somebody said or done that made you feel special? Oh, that's so nice. 
Well, thank you for joining me and being such amazing listeners. Again, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I want to hear feedback from all my fearless readers. Until next time, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. With love, Miss Holmes. Bye. Here we go. Miss Holmes. Everybody. Miss